I, I don't want to get started on cigarettes because I, I do have an addictive personality. You think that? Oh, yeah. Caffeine, nicotine. I know. Work. Like, when, when I was like thinking about just the sentence of Brandon got hooked on oxys because he got kicked in the face by Crow Cop. <laughs> I was just like, that is a crazy fucking sentence. That just. Yeah. Not many people could. Probably nobody else could say that. Yeah, I don't think so, yeah. man. Yeah, that, those oxys are a hell of a drug. Oxys are a hell of a drug. Hell of a drug. Oh, man. And then the doctor was like super cool. He's like, here's 300 of them. Like, oh. Yeah, I'm, aren't they only supposed to last two weeks? He's like, yeah, but do what you want. And I was like, okay. And I found myself going out with my boys. And instead of getting hammered, I could pop one oxy, one bear, and it was a great oh, night. Yeah. I great remember night. the night that I had that realization because I had fucking just got a bunch of oxys off something back in the day, and I fucking took one. I go to the bar, I drink half a beer, and all of a sudden I'm just like flying. Like, what the fuck is happening to yeah. my body? This is crazy. Yeah, uh, that's when I realized. Like when they tell you don't drink on these things, they're not fucking around. No, they're not fucking around, but it is a party. Oh yeah, I was more of a Xanax guy. Oh really? See, I've never gotten a Xanax. Man, Br good time. I, my thing that I was doing for a while before I stopped was I would go out. Wait, are you sober now? Yeah, well, I smoke weed, but that's it. Yeah, that doesn't count. But I would like go out, get drunk, find coke, do coke. Find Xanax, so do Xanax, sleep. stay up till like nine oh, in the wow. morning, just doing all three back and forth with girls, whatever. And man, I really needed to cut that. <laughs> By the time I cut it out, I really needed to cut it out. Like it was just getting to the point where like my weekends would out become this like four or five day <laughs> blur. What yeah. an experience though. Yeah, it was all right. You know what I, I've always wanted to try is scissor. Oh, it's the best. Ah, see, you shouldn't do that, bro. I was in Houston and Paul Wall's like a fan and he sent me a grill and he wanted to do all this stuff. And I was like, I think he's sober and I was like losing weight. And I wanted to text him like, yo, man, where would I get scissor? Because I was on tour in Houston. I want to be like, where would I get scissor at? But I was, I, felt, I was too nervous, so I didn't text him. Number one, everybody in Texas got some lean. Number two, Paul Wall definitely got some lean, even if he ain't drinking lean. But He knows somebody. I yeah, because like it, it's it's very hard to get and very expensive. But like Texas seems like just the place where everybody just has figured it out. I've always wanted to try it. It's a good time, but you got to you got to not drink that much. You got to drink like a very minimal amount. And then when you talk to like real deal opiate addicts, like people who really pop oxys or shoot heroin or on yeah. fentanyl or whatever, they're like, that's what you're doing because it's such like a, a weak opiate in comparison oh, to the shit that the real the junkies real are on. Yeah. That it's like the fact that rappers spend so much fucking money on and stuff is kind of hilarious. It's more of like a hype thing. Yeah, like it became cool it's the in image the culture, of it, right? You mix it with fucking soda, and it looks cool. Yeah, and they write that's songs what about it. And they have that cool ice, like crushed ice, and little little Wayne was always sipping on it and shit. Yeah. But yeah. you could like pop a perk, and it's like, all right, say less. You know, it's, yeah. it's going to fit in your pocket, and it's going to cost like literally like two percent of what you might spend on lean. And you don't look like an asshole. Yeah. It's just Did you ever get into vaping? No, thank fucking god. <laughs> you? I, I was doing I was <laughs> you dude I was my boy David Lucas who opens for me he does a lot of vape I like nicotine so I was like let me try it man it tasted good and I found myself doing it just on the road I didn't want my kids to see me doing it mm. and then uh one night I was and I don't suffer from anxiety I was having awful anxiety I called my doctor he's like have you done anything like have you tried have you added anything to your diet and I'm like no and he's like you're still doing the nicotine uh you know the the dip and i go yeah and he goes and nothing else i go ah my boy i'm, I'm using his vape you know a few times a, a night and during the day and he's like dude it's that you're overdosing on nicotine mm. this is where all the anxiety is coming from wow so i just stopped doing it i was like oh, i'm out really yeah also look yeah, at 38 you look like a fuck boy doing it yeah like i look like a kid off euphoria you know what i'm saying <laughs> it's like what are you doing dude <laughs> you love that shit huh euphoria yeah yeah, I, I was just watching that. the new episode where you were talking oh, about a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Yeah, oh, I, love I have it a new too. bit about it on it's stage. It's unbelievable. Yeah, it's makes me want to go back to high school. Did you see the new episode? No. Oh my! Don't tell God. me. Don't tell me, dude. You're, you're gonna know immediately. That show's so well done. You're gonna text me immediately as soon as you see the first <laughs> scene because it is the most intense scene I've seen in a TV show. Like I feel bad in describing this as like one of my favorite shows I've ever seen because it's, it's so like, dark. I'm such a grown man too, and it's like this is such a weird like teenage TV show, even though it is super dark. It's like Saved by the Bell X rated. <laughs> it's like Saved by the Bell, you know, after dark. I like, was think, I keep thinking about it compared to Saved by the Bell because that was my shit. When that I was, was our a kid. shit. Yes. And that, like I was saying, like on firing the kid, I was saying to the the team there, I'm like, 
like this isn't good. Mm. Like you, like as much as as adults we enjoy it and we've been through high school. You know, my son's five, so it's gonna be long over. But if my son was like fifteen right now and he watched Euphoria, he'd be fucked, dude. Mm. Like he thinks like these kids are doing all these drugs and having fun and doing all this shit. Like this isn't good. Like I came yeah. up on Saved by the Bell. Like I think it, but but remember, fucking Jessica Spano was hooked on uh, caffeine pills. Yeah. Okay. I'm a kid wondering, but I wasn't a kid wondering like, oh, those look fun. Like I'd like to do that. No, I was like, man, I hope she's okay. Yeah. Yeah. But when you have Zendaya fucking doing heroin, and then you have all these rappers talking about all these pills and stuff, it's like these kids are sort of surrounded by a lot of people telling them about this shit and people that they look up to and successful people. So right. it's like. They push this narrative and then, you know, even vaping and all this shit. Like, it's not good, dude. But it's, it's weird because it is painting a fairly full picture of the drug experience. Like, this scene that I'm talking to you about is, once you see it, it's the realest portrayal of, like, getting off drugs I've probably ever seen on TV. And that, so that's not being left out of the story. But, I but mean, do you relate to it because you, you're a former, is it fair to call you, I don't want to call you something you're not, addict? Uh, I don't necessarily consider myself a former addict, but like I've known so many people that I've seen go through yes. the like hell of trying to get off pills and stuff yeah. that I guess I, I, I look at it more like what I've seen from other people. But there's a lot of Nazis out there who like American History X was their favorite movie. You know, point. they don't like pay attention to the end of the movie where like yeah. they figure out like, oh, hate is bad. They it's stop like, watching it halfway yeah. through. They're like, oh, they wear wife beaters and they have like cool tattoos. Yeah, like, this is pretty bad. People. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. people. They don't yeah. like necessarily have to think about it. like I don't think that like Kurt Cobain dying from doing heroin necessarily stopped a lot of his fans from probably doing heroin. Right and now everybody wants to be like him. Yeah. Yeah. Diet 27. Yeah, I, I don't like because I don't come from that drug culture and I, I don't know addicts. I've never been through that shit. Mm -hmm. So I watch, I'm like, this is so ridiculous. So that's why the fucking Oxy thing really took you by surprise, because you actually had no idea that this was going to be... None. Yeah. None. I basically got a, a Croatian nose job for free. <laughs> then I have to get my nose fixed, and then I'm popping these pills. Right. And my buddy's like, dude, what are you doing? Like, mm. you're... This is six months have gone by. You're still fucking popping Oxy? Mm. I'm like, dude, it's so fun. And they took the pills, man. You know? Yeah, I remember like... 2015 2016 i had a girlfriend who was just like a super normal girl i don't know <laughs> what the fuck she was doing with me and i already at that point knew all about pills and knew how fucked up they were etc and she goes to the doctor and the doctor puts her on like a fucking bar of xanax a day or Jesus some shit Christ, just man. because she was dealing with the fact that she was depressed but she was depressed because she went to college her whole life for you know four or five years however long and got out realizes got a job is making like 100 grand a year is realizing like, oh, I'm supposed to be happy and I'm actually miserable and I can't believe that I'm expected to do this for the rest of my life. So yes. she gets kind of depressed and they put her on a fucking bar a That's day. That's insane. And I'm like, bro, do you realize that these like retarded ass girls that I'm around that at <laughs> parties and stuff, they're taking like a bar a day and they're, they think that they're partying. Yes. This doctor wants you to take that much. To improve your life? To, to operate as a normal Nuts. human being. And Did she listen to you? I don't know. No, no. You guys got rid of her pretty soon. Yeah, there you go. I, I could have told you how that ended, dude. Yeah, that the hell no. Never saw her again. Never um, saw her again. Dropping bars after of Xanax. that conversation. Yeah, it's like all right. One Xanax, no. you go. All right, guys, we hit fifty thousand subscribers. Our next goal is a hundred thousand subscribers. So make sure you click that button to subscribe. We appreciate y'all very, very much. Thank you.